Robert, Robbie Mook is the campaign manager of Hillary Clinton. He joins us from the campaign's headquarters in Brooklyn, New York. Good morning, Robbie. Good morning. So where is this campaign going after the debate last night, which dismayed many people in terms of the bitterness of it all? And are you going to have to finally defend uh, and go darker? Well, uh, first of all, uh, we were all disappointed by Donald Trump's uh, stunt event uh, prior to the debate. Uh, he went into this debate intent on throwing Hillary Clinton off her game uh, and trying to sling a lot of mud. Hillary showed up at the debate wanting to talk to the American people about the specific plans she has to make a difference in people's lives. I think she had the opportunity to do that. Unfortunately, she had to do quite a bit of fact-checking on Donald Trump throughout, uh, but, but we feel like we got that done. They're calling it the ugliest, nastiest debate ever. Did it feel that way to you watching it? Well, like I said, I, I was disappointed, first of all, that Donald Trump wanted to make this about mudslinging. Uh, I was disappointed about the stunt that he tried to pull uh, just about an hour beforehand. And unfortunately, he continued a string of inaccuracies and lies. Uh, the, the fact checkers have said that. Um, so, yeah, I was disappointed in that. But uh, like I said, I, I do think, despite it all, Secretary Clinton was able to make a clear case. She, she articulated clear plans on health care, foreign policy, and many other topics. Robbie, the Washington Post is reporting that Donald Trump's campaign sought to intimidate Hillary Clinton and embarrass former President Bill Clinton by placing and seating the women who have accused former President Clinton of sexual abuse and putting them in the Trump family box. But at the last minute, they were thwarted by uh, the commission by Frank of by Frank Farenkopf. Were you aware that this was happening? I, I was not. You'd have to uh, ask the commission about that. Would you like to comment on what perhaps would have happened if they had been seated in the family box? Well, I think, like I said, the whole situation is very disappointing. Donald Trump's campaign has had a string of disasters, his failed performance in the last debate. Uh, his vice presidential nominee refused to defend him at his debate. And then, obviously, we had the Machado controversy, yeah. taxes, and this video that came out last Friday. Donald Trump's trying to change the dynamic, but I would argue he's just digging the hole deeper with these uh, uh, attacks and trying to drag this so, debate down. We will continue to seek to talk about the issues. Beyond that, he said that if he was elected, he would appoint a prosecutor to try to put her in jail because uh, she deleted emails after they were under subpoena. It, again, it's it's disappointing. I, I, I and and I would say it's chilling that Donald Trump thinks that the presidency is like some banana republic dictatorship where you can lock up your political opponents. Um, the career uh, uh, staff at the Justice Department have ruled on this issue. And again, this is just Donald Trump trying to intimidate Hillary, bully Hillary, uh, and change the debate from anything uh, but himself. I think he should apologize. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks. Robbie Moot.